Hi everyone, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and today I really have the pleasure to be with Ronnie Cummings. Ronnie is the director, uh, national director for the Organic Consumers Association, and we've been having some amazing conversations, and Ronnie has brought up a very important point about how what you eat is directly related to the major crisis on our planet right now, which is global climate change. Yes, I mean, the, the main reason why we should join in on the organic revolution, if we haven't already, uh, and do it more consciously if we have begun, is uh, the climate crisis. Most people don't understand that f industrial food and farming, the direct and indirect impacts, are the major cause of global warming. Uh, everything from producing pesticides and chemical fertilizers to not composting food and throwing it in dumps and producing methane, the enormous amounts of uh, uh, greenhouse gases produced by factory farms, which produce over 90% of the United States' meat and animal products, all the way to long-distance transportation, uh, a diet based largely on highly processed foods, uh, add up to a disaster for the climate. Uh, that's the bad news. We must change the food and farming system if we're going to save the climate. Um, the indirect impacts of uh, industrial food and farming are just as horrific. I mean, the deforestation of the Amazon, of the tropical forests in Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, and the draining of, of the last remaining wetlands in the world are a major contributing cause, 20% of global warming. That's not the timber industry anymore. It's industrial food and farming, genetically engineered soybeans, palm oil, etc. But you are, we are also talking about how hopeful this is, and we're also talking about how what we're up against. I mean, we have some big powers, big, large agribusiness, uh, and it almost seems hopeless to the average person to be able to deal with this, but there really is, there really is a, a revolution going on among people, you and me, and there's a lot that we can do individually. Yes, this global movement of millions against Monsanto, uh, millions against industrial agriculture, uh, has the seeds in it of our uh, salvation, our survival. Uh, you know, when the planet has overheated in the past because of volcanic eruptions or meteors hitting the surface, uh, the Earth had the ability to restabilize the climate by, uh, you know, sucking in, sequestering photosynthesis through the plants and trees and soil and grasses of the excess greenhouse gases. We can do that again. Uh, if we start back on the, the long transition to organic food and farming and uh, rotational grazing of animals uh, as was traditionally done for over 10,000 years until the Second World War. Uh, we can sequester uh, up to 100 parts per million of this excess uh, greenhouse gas that's up in our atmosphere heating up the planet. Uh, the, the International Farmers Network via Campesina says that small farmers can cool the planet. Uh, that is true. Uh, what we, the Organic Consumers Association, said last Saturday, February 17th, at the National Climate Crisis Demonstration in Washington, D.C., our banner said, cook organic, not the planet. So the solution to our problems, of course we have to change. We have to stop the tar sands and the coal mines and the, and the gas fracking. We've got to reduce our consumption of fossil fuels by 90% or so over the next couple of decades. We've got to adopt alternative sources of energy that are renewable with a vengeance, uh, solar um, and wind especially. Um, but we've also got to vote with our forks for a livable planet. We've got to walk our talk in our daily lives. And millions of us are starting to do this around the world. Uh, our example is contagious. We can get back to the kind of sustainable food and farming system uh, that we had. Uh, and But it's going to take all of us working together. And it's uh, this is not just about the climate. This is about the fact that large corporations like Monsanto and McDonald's and Walmart have seized control of our political system. They control the laws that are passed. They control the media. They control, to a large extent, uh, the consciousness of the confused public who are stumbling through life 
uh, dissatisfied, but you know, uninspired, unsure of what to do. Uh, we have to break the stranglehold of the big corporations in order to save the planet from climate catastrophe. So let's uh, uh, join the organic revolution if you haven't already, but uh, those of us who have already joined the revolution, let's make sure we get more united, stronger, inspired, healthier, and let's do it. Yeah. Not only can we do this, but we, we really have to do this. This really is the issue on the planet at this point in time. Ronnie, how can people get in touch with you? What's the website? And uh, I assume there's free newsletters and ways to be involved that don't involve a lot of time or money, but something that people can do to help? Yes. Uh, we've got about a million people across the United States right now who uh, get our newsletter, our uh, information off our Facebook pages, and share it. So go to Organic Consumers. Dot org. That's our website. Or you can go to our Facebook pages, Organic Consumers Association, or Millions Against Monsanto. Well, thanks so much for spending time with, this, this, with me this morning, Ronnie. And uh, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and we'll see you on another segment.